a major disruption for a suburban hospital targeted by hackers. Johnson Memorial Health is open, but it may be weeks, weeks before they know the impact of a cyber attack. It's all hands on deck at Johnson Memorial Health. These handmade signs are being placed on all computers following a cyber attack that remains under investigation. So it's actually going pretty smoothly for what's happening. Jill Hippenmeyer is a nurse practitioner. She and her co-workers are keeping good handwritten detailed records until the computers can be used again. I don't write that much anymore because no one does. They'll be all scanned in, so it'll be on the patient's chart. It'll be scanned right to that patient. The cyber attack was discovered Friday evening around 1030. The IT department immediately shut down the system to minimize the potential loss of private information. This is despite millions upon millions of dollars being spent on cybersecurity. We have spent lots of money. We have lots of protocols in place and still somebody gained access to our system. And I really think this is just a example right now of the predator is outpacing the prey. But really, I, I'd be lying if I said I knew for sure. I mean, it, it's day to day because we're still trying to figure out the capabilities of our system. We're trying to, to get containment. We're not sure we have this threat contained. The biggest unknown is when will the computers be up and running? There is no timetable. But for now, it's all about paper, pencils and pens at this hospital. This paper delivery was on its way to a doctor's office as we stood in the hallway. Despite the hack and the challenges with technology, the hospital remains open. It's the people who make it happen. It's always about the people making it happen. The hospital does not know the extent of the attack at this hour, including whether patient information was stolen. If so, the hospital tells me that they will be transparent with the public about its process, a story that we will continue to follow here at WRTV. Of course, with no ability to email, the president of Johnson Memorial Health is using the hospital PA system, as you can see, to communicate with staff. The first staff announcement happened today at 3.30 in the afternoon. The PA system is usually used during weather emergencies and hospital alerts. In the short term, it will be the fastest way to keep up to date to with the staff and patients since, of course, no email is available. Meanwhile, here in the capital city, Eskenazi Health also dealing with a cyber attack of its computer system. Some patient and employee information taken has been released on the dark web. According to Eskenazi, the information impacted may include your name, your date of birth, age, address, telephone number, email addresses, medical record number, patient account number, diagnosis, clinical information, as well as physician name, insurance information, prescriptions, date of service, driver's license number, passport number, face photos, social security numbers, and credit card information. That is a lot of information. So what can you expect? You will receive a letter at your home in the coming weeks from Eskenazi Health, indicating whether or not your personal information was affected and providing instructions on how to enroll in protection if you choose to do so. I recommend that you do take advantage of the protection plans. They will be free. You're also encouraged to contact the three credit bureaus who can detect any suspicious activity involving your credit. We have the phone numbers for all three credit bureaus listed in this story right now at our website, wrtv.com, as well as the WRTV 